What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we gotta talk about The Rock's promo segment tonight on SmackDown. Easily the best part of the show. It was fantastic, man. Uh, I'm loving what The Rock is doing with his uh, persona, his heel-like persona. Even when he's a heel, he's still entertaining and likable so we definitely got to talk about what happened there and and what what could possibly happen going into wrestlemania and into uh potential future feuds uh, maybe with roman reigns and i'm gonna give my input on why i think at some point they are going to be feuding and it should make for some great television but first things first let's talk about what happened with this whole segment i'm not gonna go by play by play but i'm gonna give you all some of the the highlights so he comes out starts off the show which is great so we're already getting to the nitty-gritty comes out there cool entrance with the lightning and stuff but then the music switch the music switch and it's a it's like a combination of the theme he has now and his hollywood uh theme and i love that his hollywood um rock music theme if you guys remember he was a heel back then so it was the kind of combination of what he his theme is now but they blended it in with the hollywood rock theme music and i thought that was great brought back some of the nostalgia vibes and the clock the crowd was electric for for the rock tonight like the first half of this promo segment you would have thought he was a baby face I'm being dead ass. They, if they weren't booing him, they were in Memphis, Tennessee tonight. And uh, he, you know, people were saying, we love you, Rock. And, you know, he keeps telling them, I love you, too. You know what I'm saying? And some of the ladies say, I love you, Rock. He's like, I love you, too, baby. You're looking good over there. Like, he's he's embracing the crowd. He even said, all the other cities have trashed. But tonight in Memphis, I'm not trashing Memphis. We're going to have a good time tonight. You know, I, I, I grew up like not grew up here, but I started my wrestling career in Memphis. And he he talked about the good mem uh, memories he had there. And he, it seemed like he was the ultimate baby face at this point. Like we it's like he just kind of transformed. He you know, he wasn't the heel bad guy uh, head of, you know, one of the board members. Uh, Rock. He was like a good guy, you know, just happy to be home. And he even said. Finally, The Rock has come back home. I'm like, bro, what's happening here? Is he not bad no more? Is he is he not an asshole no more? What's going on? And then you can tell we're about to get us a rock concert because they had like a stand there or whatnot. He had uh some some people you know that was gonna play some music for him and you know they were gonna you know we're gonna have a good time a rock concert you know last time we've seen one of these things it, it's usually you know pretty hilarious so it was kind of more or less what i was expecting and when he started doing the concert the crowds behind it what i loved about this is he was cooking cody and seth bro the disrespect all of it. he had slideshows on the titan tron like i'm like i said i'm not gonna go verbatim on what he said y'all go watch this but it was just it was hilarious but he was cooking this guy i mean legitimately cooking him and seth and it was just one of those things where it was funny the crowd was ooing and all and having a good time with it like i said you would think the rock was a huge baby face at this moment during the concert part but he was just, you know, just having a good time and the people were eating it up. But then after he finished the concert, crowd chanting, giving them a standing ovation, all this other good stuff, he gets serious. He said, I need to address some things. And if you guys saw his promo uh, clip or segment, I wouldn't say segment, but uh, his little promo clip he dropped on Instagram and Twitter, he talked about Cody's mom and he brought that up. And this is where things got serious. Now, it was no more jokingly cooking, Cody. Now I'm going to be serious with you. He's like, now I'm talking to you, Mama Rose. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you know. Your son's not walking out with a belt. He's not going to hand you a belt. 
You know, he even talked about Cody crying and all this other stuff. And he was like, yo, that what the hell is this shit? Why, why is he crying after he slapped me? He slapped me in the face. He should be, you know, this should be a, a, a high moment for him. He's over here talking about, you know, he's over here crying and talking about he's going to give you the belt, the championship, because he couldn't give it to his father. Who gives a, who gives a shit? He's just going in. Same, some of the same stuff he said on social media. And he, he, I love how they position the camera. They're zooming in on him every time he's talking and directing stuff to Cody's mom. He's like, I can't wait for you to be there front row to watch your son lose. He pulled out one of his weight belts. You see this belt right here? I'm going to whip the shit out of Cody. I'm going to whip his ass. I'm going to beat the crap out of him. I'm going to leave him bloodied, bruised up. I'm going to leave him a mess. And his blood is going to be soaked on this. And then I'm going to come to you front row. With you crying and you, your tears dropping on the belt. I'm going to wipe them tears and I'm going to give you this belt. And there's nothing you can do about it. I'm going to end his story, you know, and I just thought that was so good. Him just, he went from having a good time to truly being a menace and very disrespectful and saying those things. That's what's going to happen. And this is what's going to happen to your son. There's nothing you can do about it. It was just chef's kiss. This was so, it, like I said, it's crazy how he was. Came out as a baby face, but then he was able to turn it up to be an asshole heel very quickly and very convincingly. And, and I, I really, truly love that. And after that, he does his catchphrase. If you smell what the final boss is cooking. Now, that is something that I'm very intrigued about because he said it on his promo. He posted on Instagram and Twitter. He even put the hashtag final boss. He's coining himself as the final boss. And I mentioned that on my video talking about that. Uh, his uh, promo segment or promo clip is very interesting. Now he's calling himself the final boss. It's not even about the bloodline. Last week, it's, you know, a couple weeks has been about you smell what the bloodline's cooking. Now it's, you know, you, you smell what the final boss is cooking. That's very interesting. I like that. Because to me, I feel as if we've all looked at Roman as the final boss. They've even said it a few times. He's the final boss. We view him as the final boss in WWE. And it's interesting that The Rock saying that. So if I'm Cody, if I'm Cody, they're supposed to have a face-to-face -face The Rock and uh, uh, Roman and Cody next week on SmackDown. On Raw, no more jokes. Address The Rock on Raw. Get serious. No, not jokes. He hasn't really been joking, but I, I get it. You're, you know, emotional. No more of that. No time to be emotional. It's time to be passionate. It's time to, you know, get a little gritty. Fight back verbally in a sense. Like, he's been dis he's disrespected you. He's disrespected your family. Now he's sending shots at your mom. Like... Now it's time, okay, since we're doing this, I'm here now. You really want to take it to that level? I'm going to take it to that level. You want me to, to stoop down to your level, Rock? All right, this is what you want? Start airing some stuff out. And then you can lead it off with, and Roman, I have something I've been wanting to tell you for a very long time, and I'm going to tell you this Friday. Friday comes around, you let Roman know, He's not the head of the table no more. You let him know why The Rock owns him. Why The Rock calls himself the final boss. Why he will always sit above you. You start belittling him in a sense where it's like you're not the main attraction. I don't even think you realize it. I, I don't even think you understand. I think it's just because The Rock quote unquote acknowledged you. You're still not the main attraction. You're not. The main attraction is him. He's the main attraction right now. You're just a tag along. You know, like, play that up. I need him to do that. N no more of the, the political correctness and trying to take the high road. No more of that. No. 
It's time to get gritty. That's what I would do. I would start to try to plant seeds that The Rock doesn't really care about the bloodline like he says he does. That's what I need. Planting seeds to build up some friction between The Rock and Roman because you're going to need that going into the match. That's how I would do it. So hopefully he does that. Hopefully he's able to fire back with a, a, a impassioned promo where it doesn't involve him getting emotional. It involves him getting upset because the dude has been disrespecting this guy since he came back to WWE. So I think that he needs to do that because right now, bro, he got cooked. Him and Seth, they both got cooked <laughs> by this nigga singing. So um, hopefully... They can do that, and then with the whole back, you know, the, the promo segment we're going to probably have next week between uh, Roman and Cody, Cody needs to start playing up the fact that Roman is playing second fiddle. He's not the top guy. He's not the final boss. The Rock is. Play that up to get them to potentially turn on each other. That's what I would do. But overall, this was a great segment. If you haven't, go ahead and watch it. Go ahead and watch it. It's very entertaining. The Rock definitely killed it, and uh, he's he's really been, honestly, damn near the best part of this WrestleMania build, which I don't, I don't think anyone's surprised by it, but he's definitely been the best part of this WrestleMania build, and it's going to be very interesting to see if Cody starts to turn it up verbally on the promos and really starts playing both fields like not playing both fields but starts playing mind games with the rock and roman particularly roman play mind games with roman have him start to question the rock in and his loyalty truly and have him start to feel some type of way because once again like i said these segments haven't been they've involved roman but it's mainly been about cody and the rock so we'll see how that goes, plays out but i appreciate all love support you guys shown on channel road to 150k and i'm still young speed at youtube wrestling champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking in with me see y'all next one peace